Hey, bud. Hey. Scooch. Hey. I'll give you the sweet potatoes. Yeah, it was a standard shopping trip until a moose decided that maybe he wanted my sweet potatoes more than I did. Yeah, just scooch. I offered to give him the sweet potatoes. I was like, just take it. I bought extra. But no, he was denied uh, fresh produce. And then it was just a standoff while I sat there and waited for him to either steal my food or walk away. Once he started putting his ears back. Just, no ears back, buddy. I'm not, just scooch. Yeah, I'm gonna put down my cell phone. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, look at the moose at the Costco. He did have go elsewhere eventually, but apparently he just kind of stuck around and lingered at the Costco parking lot until four or five o'clock that day. That's a moosey. 15, 20 people sent pictures of myself and it was just of me with my hand on my hip, leaning forward and finger out, straight up mom lecturing a wild animal that has its face in the back of my car. It just happened. It's a typical Saturday until it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Scooch. So ice cold composure, and that's probably because of a few things. First of all, her kids weren't with her. Normally they would be when she would go on a shopping trip, but they weren't this time. Also, she had a plan to get in the car if the moose decided to advance. And apparently, like a lot of people in Anchorage, she knows moose. So she knows the signs and felt pretty comfortable there.